What you're looking at behind me is the skull of a well-bred cat. A UK study found that French Bulldogs have an average lifespan of four and a half years. The Royal Veterinary Society in the UK also decided that pugs can no longer be considered a typical breed because they have that many problems. There is a huge problem in the pet trade industry and we will talk about it. Like dogs, breeders have been trying to make more and more extreme cats. They decided to look at the skulls and brains of Persians, which are a breed of cat that has an extraordinarily short face. The peak face is actually one of the most desirable for shows. It was also noticed by owners that they tend to have a lot of problems with balance, falling over, and they can have short lives. When they started to look at the skulls of these animals, the researchers were shocked. That's what a domestic cat skull should look like. And as we get into more and more extremes, the peak face cats have actual holes in their head. What they were actually breeding in is a form of facial dysplasia. When you see those Persian cats who have that one tooth, that's because their jaw is not properly aligned and they don't have enough room in their mouth for their teeth. What they also found is that they don't actually have enough room for their brain. Hydrocephalus is the condition in which fluid accumulates and there's intracranial pressure. Their brains seem to actually be spilling out the back of their head. This is very similar to a human malformation called a Kyrie malformation, where yes, the back of your brain does kind of spill out. It can be extraordinarily painful in humans and cause massive headaches, as well as issues with balance and issues with your body's actual function. Your brain shouldn't be spilling out the back of your head. Chihuahuas have a pretty similar issue, especially the ones with the dome-shaped head, like apple-headed chihuahuas. That is not what a dog's head should look like. You also should not have a soft spot when you're an adult, but I can accept that happens with chihuahuas. Now, animals like chihuahuas and pugs can live a long life, but there is an issue with quality. Pugs, for example, can have their eyes just literally fall out of their head, which you can imagine is quite painful and can lead to blindness. These issues are made far worse by backyard breeders, people who are inbreeding their animals, trying to get as many litters as possible without any concern for health, just so they can be sold. And dogs can go for thousands of dollars from backyard breeders. There are a lot of people who are trying to make healthier breeds of dogs. And I do understand why a lot of trainers and breeders find this a little bit unethical, because if that person is just breeding for looks and not their actual health, they could end up with other issues because they're not familiar with what genes are involved. One of the issues for retro pugs, for example, although they did give it a longer snout, pugs still often have a soft palate, and elongating it is just going to give them airway obstruction issues. We want to save all of these breeds, but it's going to take some serious hard work, and there are no simple answers.